Now, I'll be talking about transfer pricing. Now, transfer pricing the Philippines is a method of cross-border and conducting transactions with related and associated companies. Usually, the transfer price will be based between the, the countries with high and low income taxes. In the Philippines, uh, these transactions are called intra-firm slash interrelated. So, um, to talk to explain it a little bit more and uh, to make us understand what it is exactly, uh, the accounting of transfer of goods and services from the high income country and revenue will be collected by the Philippines. Thus, the taxes payable for this revenue is lower compared to Canada report uh, for to Canada reporting this revenue based on Canadian corporate tax rate. So far, FF2G, as a domestic corporation operating as a subsidiary or a branch office, it will only pay a general tax rate of 20% based on net income from all sources, whereas a recent foreign corporation paid general tax rate of 30%. And in Canada, a recent corporation is subject to branch-related tax of 38% and a province and territorial tax rate of 12% in British Columbia before allowable deductions, credits, and exemption items, if any. Yeah, I, I also mentioned this, uh, you know, in my previous slides. So, if uh, for FFTG best interest to abide Philippines and have properly used the, uh, use the transfer fraud method in, the, in that country. So, Transfer pricing measure will only be successful if it meets all requirements such as the right application of arm's length principle and conducting a comparability analysis. This can include testing the identified party for the transfer pricing, arm's length test, commercial and economic condition test. Also, uh, transfer pricing is meant for certain cases uh, in this uh, in our case which is which include the best reliable result that's what uh, the uh, bureau of investigation in the philippines or, or bir bureau of internal investigation now going back to transfer pricing uh, the Philippines tax system requires a proper selection of profit level indicator, which is shortened, shortened to acronym of PLI is required, which includes business characteristics. In addition, all comparable data is presented and PLI, which is, uh, I just mentioned, profit level indicator, will provide the most reliable measure of arm's length FF2G's profit or the company's profit. Also, the documentation will be required as the company's structure, nature of business, industry, market condition, control company's transactions, and company's bylaws. This can also include strategies, policies, assumptions, company's cost contribution arrangements. Comparison of um, functional and risk analysis, transfer pricing method and application, and other background information. Finally, this documentation will be indexed to documents for completion and presentation of the transfer pricing method through the transaction between the two countries.